Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. A lot of things happened over the weekend. Very yummy for the tummy stuff. <clears throat> so, as we rejoice that the market opens today and we get a chance to buy some more shares or sell shares of other companies, what do I have for you guys today? As Polestar approaches crucial financial deadline amid a stock plunge, and German economy minister Robert Habeck went to Beijing over the weekend, he's also the vice chancellor of Olaf Scholz. Yes, he's a heavyweight in Germany. Um, this is amidst <clears throat> the trade war going on and Germany saying that they are not going to be part of that. Deutsche Bank expects NEO to deliver 18,200 cars in June. Yes, you heard that right. In line with guidance, which will be up 68% year on year. Yes, 68% up year on year. And I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but People always look at what happens on a weekly or monthly basis and the stock keeps going down based on rhetoric, trade wars, um, a lot of different things, the shorts. However, if you look at our delivery numbers year over year from the time the company came on the stock market until now, we have always been over 100% year over year. In retrospect to that, the ex same Deutsche Bank expect Tesla to be down 27% year on year in June. And <clears throat> as this trend continues for them, I explained this in the past and people don't like hearing that, but the figures can't lie. This trend will continue for them due to lack of innovation and they still have the same models that they came out with in the inception of their company. This is Tesla. They did not come out with anything new except the Cybertruck, the stainless steel homeless encampment that proved to be a failure. So whilst all of this is happening, <clears throat> what is NEO doing to prove and to continue to put out more vehicles year over year, to bring more profit year over year, and to bring us closer to profitability way faster than Tesla ever did. Well, this is what just happened yet again. Remember, we had plugged, <clears throat> we signed a partnership with Hongxi, which is a state-owned company, yes, owned by the government in China, so that they would help us with battery swapping, building out more stations, um, help fund us with research and development, just like all of the other partnerships, which is why I don't know if you guys noticed, but in the last earnings report, it showed that we spent less for research and development. Well, this is one of the main reasons why. A lot of these partnerships are now taking up some of the cost for us. So it says Hongxi plugs into NEO's charging network. Mm-hmm. This is the first project to begin implementation since NEO and FAW Group announced a strategic partnership agreement a month ago. China Group Hongxi brand is plugged into NEO's charging network after the two announced their partnership a month ago. Yes, because we have more charging stations than any other EV company in China. Infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. One of the main reasons why you see the EV industry in China continue to skyrocket and grow year over year, whilst here in America it is slowing down dramatically because of range anxiety, but not just because of lack of char charging stations, but because we spoke about this in depth several times. <clears throat> After eight years, the EV is worthless, those EVs that have a fixed battery, and they have to wait 20 minutes plus to charge. On June 24th, Neo and Hongxi officially entered into a partnership to interconnect 
They are charging networks the first project since the company and FAW signed a strategic cooperation framework agreement on May 21st, Neo said in a statement today. Hongxi will have access to Neo's charging network, mm -hmm, so it's not just battery swapping, and starting June 24th, its users will be able to use Neo charging stations through the Hongxi app for services including finding Neo charging stations, locations, checking prices, charging, and making payments. Now, I'm not sure how many of you, you guys know this, but a lot of EV uh, users in China, whether it's Xpeng, Tesla, uh, BYD, they use our charging stations as well because we have the most. So, <clears throat> on May the 22nd, NEO announced that it had signed a strategic cooperation. And a lot of people were saying, well, we see them signing a lot of deals, but we don't, how is this gonna work for us? Well, <laughs> they're gonna use our battery swap stations, but also the deal said it will collaborate on areas, and this is a giant, it's owned by automotive giant FAW, Hongxi is, the establishment of battery technology standards, the development of battery swap enabled models. Yes, so they'll be eating up a lot of the cost for us and they are already a profitable company. Battery asset management and operation. So they'll be helping us with a lot when it comes to future battery swap stations, technology and making it, um, you know, the capacity for even more than way over 480 plus swaps per day and the construction and operation of charging and battery swap networks. So this is why our research and development costs are coming down dramatically, bringing us closer to profitability yet again. How you like them apples? Boom, I like them apples. FAW becomes the seventh company to join the Neo-led battery swap alliance following Chang'an, the seventh, the seventh. For, does this sound like a company going out of business to you guys? <laughs> Following Chang'an, Geely, Cherry, JAC, Lotus, and GAC Group, as NEO gains more battery swap partners, several local electric vehicle makers have announced their access to its charging network. One of the largest public charging networks in China, yes. Notably, NEO's charging network has always been open to other brands of EVs. The direct collaboration between other car companies and NEO helps provide a better charging experience. More than 80% of the power provided by NEO's charging facilities serves other brands of EVs, as the company has mentioned several times before. Geely Automobile Holdings, GU, SAIC, GM, Deepal, Hyper, IM, Motors, Polestar, and GAC Energy have partnered with NEO on charging network sharing. This is apart from the battery swapping. As of today, NEO has 2,433 battery swap stations in China, of which 804 are located along highways. It has 2,285 supercharging stations in China, providing 10,458 charging piles. In comparison, the others are minuscule, meaningless and 1,595 destination charging stations providing 12,243 charging piles. Neo Power or Neo Energy, yes, our energy side of the company. Investment Wabe Company, established in May 2017, is Neo's energy business subsidiary responsible for the construction of the facilities, including battery swap stations and charging stations. So I'm not going to go into the whole article, guys. You guys can find this on CNEV Post, at least this part of what I just told you guys. I hope you guys understand when the shorts come out and say, oh, that's a trash stock. <laughs> you should sell. This company is doing everything necessary and eventually they cannot hold us down anymore. So I hope you guys found this video on a Monday morning to be informational, inspirational, and motivational. So guys, do not, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. It takes a lot of time to do these videos. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because in this channel, we have that warrior mindset like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying, guys. <laughs>